Hi everyone, welcome to the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel. I hope you're healthy and doing well. On this channel, we cover the news, facts, and sentiments about the crypto market. We also interview many of the folks who are investing and building in the crypto asset class. Recently, I interviewed Mark Yusko, CEO and founder of uh, Morgan Creek Capital, as well as Binance's CEO, CZ. And guys, I will be interviewing next week a well-known Bitcoin developer and also CTO at Avanti Bank. And we're going to talk about what going on in Wyoming and Bitcoin scalability and many different things guys so if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button guys very interesting news here I remember doing a Twitter poll about it would you spend your US stimulus check if you live in the US on crypto right that twelve hundred dollars the government sending to everyone well Brian Armstrong the CEO of Coinbase tweeted the following <laughs> that a percentage of the buys and deposits that are exactly the same as the $1,200 stimulus check spiked significantly. If you look at the chart here, it's very interesting, guys. Look at that spike right there. So it looks like some people are using their stimulus money to buy Bitcoin and other cryptos uh, on Coinbase. And it's not a surprise. I think, um, you know, many people maybe who are getting the money, they may not be in a position where they need it. And maybe they're in a good spot, right? And they're using the money to buy Bitcoin and crypto, especially with the Bitcoin having coming up. And the data from Google shows the search trends are up. Bitcoin having searches are up. Uh, it hits an all-time high. No surprise there. The Bitcoin having is much much more significant than it has been in the years uh, past, where the mining reward is cut in half. The price is expected to go up higher. I'm still of the opinion that the timeline for the bull run will be pushed back given the pandemic that we're in. We're not in, nor in a normal economic cycle. Like even if you're in a recession cycle, you can expect the price to go up because it's not like everything shut down like it is now, right? So you got to really think about that. So, you know, it's reaching record highs, suggesting peak interest in the retail crowd about the upcoming uh, supply altering event. So queries about the highly anticipated event peaked in the week ending April 11th, the highest in Bitcoin's 11 year history. That's significant, guys. It moved down 18% as of press time, but remains at elevated levels. It remains uh, double what it was uh, for the week ending March 21st. So uh, great to see the interest here. And, and you know, Part of this is not just the having, but the Fed money printing. People recognize now there's more knowledge out there. Sure, it's not fully mainstream, but they recognize that the money printing that's taking place is not sustainable. Inflation, dilution of purchasing power, all of those things are going to happen. And I think with the internet and the you know knowledge being able to spread, people can watch videos like these. They can understand what is taking place in the world around them. So interesting interesting data here and let's see what happens i'm just glad i'm here early like many of you we got in we bought the lows and we're waiting to sell the highs right to make a significant return now guys we got a uh, news update here around bitcoin volatility tokens this is an interesting concept i don't know how i personally feel about it yet i still have to process all of it but it's interesting crypto derivatives exchange ftx is launching tokens that track bitcoin volatility i don't even know if you need to do that but let's let's go into the details uh so they're going to release a pair of bitcoin volatility tracking tokens bvix and ibvix the tokens will hold a basket of FTX move contracts. FTX CEO Sam Bankman uh, Freed, uh, Fried, or if you say it that way, told the block that the tokens are different from most existing volatility products in the that they try to represent the overall market expectations. So really, it's kind of like an index or an indicator of how volatile it's moving i don't know if you need tokens for that though right you can just use regular market data and, and analytics so uh you know like i said it's representing here a long and short position respectfully on the magnitude of bitcoin's price swings the product release is perhaps a timely one given the market's volatility in the recent weeks Here's a quote. The goal of the tokens is to give users an easy liquid way to trade on future implied volatility. FTX CEO Sam uh, Bank Fried, Bankman Fried, Fried, <laughs> if I'm saying that right. So 
Nevertheless, interesting here. So the BVIX and IBVIX tokens hold a basket of FTX move contracts, which settle at the dollar movement of Bitcoin against the US dollars and track daily returns of being 1x long or 1x short and uh, the implied volatility of Bitcoin. Like I said, I don't know if I'm interested in this. You know, I am a long term holder. I'm, I don't day trade. Some of you may. God bless you, right? Uh, if, if you know what you're doing and you're making money, go for it. Not for me. Um, and I know there's a lot of risk involved in that. So uh, this may be for some people. Personally, I don't see the value in the token. If the, you, you could just use regular data that's out there. But let's see what happens. At least what we're seeing is the building of the infrastructure for all types of trading and w services and solutions and so forth around Bitcoin and crypto. Now, guys. You all know I hold Tezos in my portfolio. I added it to my portfolio about two months ago. The reason being is because real world adoption. That is how I invest in these crypto utility tokens and, and cryptocurrencies. And, uh, you know, I look at who's partnering with them. Who's are they getting adoption? Are people investing in them? And we're seeing a lot being built on the Tezos blockchain. So Vertalo T0 are bringing $300 million in real estate to the Tezos blockchain. That's bullish. Um, and this is what you want to see, right? You, if if you're investing in stocks and companies, you're looking for similar news. What is this company doing? Are they expanding? Are they acquiring? Are they partnering? Are they expanding their services? Those things can indicate a move in higher value. Likewise, for utility tokens and crypto, same thing. So uh, this is big news, guys. In the first deal completed to on its new tokenization platform, blockchain consulting firm Advantage Blockchain is teaming with Vertalo and alternative trading system T0 to tokenize the portfolio of Class A properties owned by a boutique firm. The portfolio belongs to Pennsylvania-based real estate capital management, and Advantage plans to tokenize the portfolio in phases, starting with 90 million of office and hospitality real estate over the next three months, said Alec Beckman, president of the consulting firm. Guys, I love this because we've been talking on this channel for years about tokenization, tokenization of real estate, tokenization of stocks and different assets. And the key would be what what platform, what blockchain they're going to use. And I love that they're using Tezos. They're also using Ethereum. And I'm bullish on both. And we saw, guys, I shared the video, in, uh, excuse me, in a video last week that Securitize, which is a company that helps firms and different businesses tokenize things, they have Ethereum and they just recently added support for Tezos. And it's all a, like a one-click easy process and it's amazing to see these things being built out so certainly bullish on tezos and it is a competitor of ethereum i'm more bullish on ethereum but tezos is going to do well i'm staking tezos and making uh and earning my reward so i love it guys now speaking of ethereum binance is launching a new ethereum compatible blockchain they claim it's not going to be a, a competitor to ethereum but it's interesting what they're doing here. Binance is set to launch a new Ethereum compatible blockchain. The new blockchain will have BNB as a native token, thus supporting it staking. Interesting. The move appears to put Binance in direct competition with Ethereum. Now, once again, they, they kind of said it's not. And it's called Binance Smart Chain, BSC. So you can stake BNB on it. Look, Binance, I, what I love about it, and if you guys saw my interview with CZ, this guy is, he puts his money where his mouth is and he's not afraid to take risks because he even talked in, about it in the interview that he wasn't sure how IEO's initial exchange offerings and BNB is going to do, but it took off. It was a hit. This could be a hit too because a lot of people invest in BNB and Binance is the largest crypto exchange out there. They got a lot of cash, guys. They got a lot of users using their platform. So, man, this is uh, interesting. So, uh, they, let me give it a quote here. The first practical and widely used smart contract platform is Ethereum. To take advantage of the relatively mature applications of the community, BSC, Binance Smart Chain, uh, chooses to be compatible with the existing Ethereum mainnet, Binance said in a white paper published Friday. Binance already operates its native blockchain called Binance Chain, BC, which uh, powers its decentralized exchange Binance DEX, but it 
doesn't provide enough freedom and flexibility to the developers of the decentralized apps, known as, known as dApps as well. Binance is launching another native blockchain. So let's see how this goes. It may do well for them. And if you have BNB, you can stake it. I, I, I think that's pretty great. So they continue to invest. I'm going to try to see if I can get an interview with CZ or somebody else on Binance to talk about it. But I, I like the progress. I like the the thinking outside of the box here. And I don't think they can compete with Ethereum. Ethereum is on its own level. <laughs> I don't think any other smart contract platform or DeFi platform is on the same level as Ethereum. Now, finally, guys, uh, I love to share the worldwide crypto and, 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 develop, and expansion and investment and partnership news because these are the things you need to know and hear and see as a crypto investor that there's progress being made right because eventually the market's going to mature to a point where the prices are going to be ridiculous price will follow the building custody startup curve follows crypto demand in asia with new hong kong office so institutional crypto startup curve has expanded to asia with an office in hong kong and a partnership with japan-based crypto garage the companies announced Friday. Curve is aiming to help Asian exchange self-custody various cryptocurrencies with its multi-party computation technology, said CEO Ite Malinger. Exchanges in the region self-custody more than in the US and Europe, and Asia has more exchanges per capita than any other parts in the, of the world. That is interesting, and we know, like, the crypto market is really hot, guys, in like South Korea and so forth. So it makes sense. And and it, as investment in the crypto industry increasing increasingly moves from Europe and to the Americas to Asia, Curve is following the strong, strong demand that has emerged in the region. Patience is the key, guys. There's so many things happening. And then what I want to really highlight is that this is these these expansions and investments are happening in a pandemic on top of a recession and that I, I always tell you follow the money so these people probably know something they're probably gonna pump the hell out of the market at a certain point so you would think like the majority of businesses out there are pulling back on on certain types of marketing certain uh, efforts so just so they could stay afloat these companies are expanding so I'm looking at it from a business standpoint, you know, based on my current uh, job, my day job, crypto is not my day job, it's my part-time hobby, and of course I'm investing in it, but in my day job, I'm working with a lot of clients who are looking to pull back, guys, and uh, the investments and millions and expansions and so forth that are happening here in crypto is very surprising, which has me thinking some, you know, they are expecting a big move because how long can these guys sustain after doing all these expansions, right? You want to keep cash liquidity around given the current economic climate but they probably know something we don't uh, I, i'm i'm certainly a believer of that there's there's news for the classes and there's news for the masses right there's fear across the masses i think the classes many are buying up where they can in the stock market crypto and in making their investments um so guys what do you think about this news um would you spend your stimulus check if you are qualified for it you know the u.s stimulus check on Bitcoin and crypto. <laughs> it seems a lot of people are. So interesting data here, guys. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you all later.